Pass the hash is a technique that allows attackers to authenticate remotely to servers using a combination of the username and the hash rather than a username and a password. The hashes are found usually in the SAM database locally on computers or in the Active Directory database. So when we gain access to these hashes, we can use this pass the hash technique in order to move laterally from one computer to another and from one computer to a server a member server from a member server to another member server and eventually ending up in compromising the domain controller how does it work you need to have an administrator access to one of these machines when you have the administrator access you can actually run a tool like mimikads as we will see now to export all the hashes that are found locally on your machine so for example if user 2 logged in to this computer here his hash will be stored so if i'm the administrator here on this machine i can know the hash of this user 2 and so on and so forth i can use this technique in order to move laterally within the organization eventually uh, an administrator will account will be found on one of these machines i will be able to have access to his hash and compromise the server using pass the hash technique and i can move laterally as well from one server to another until i find a hash for the domain administrator on one of these servers so i can be able to authenticate remotely so for the sake of this demo i made it very easy for you so i have one workstation and one domain controller domain administrator has a domain admin account we will name it domain admin and he has previously logged into this computer here let's see the mimikads application now you can uh, go to github and download a version of mimikads application you just have to open it go to your bit version and just double click on that it will run on its own the good thing about mimikads is that it has the ability to create a trust relationship from a username and a password hash so in a nutshell it runs a process under another credentials using the hash of a user password instead of the real password mimikads has various modules we will be interested in using the secure lsa module which can extract passwords keys tickets from the memory the keys the passwords the tickets are managed by the process called lsass which stands for local security authority subsystem and service the first command you need to issue is privilege then colon colon debug this will give full access to mimikad you should be getting this message here 20 okay later on if you get any errors related to memory or key uh this is because you didn't run this command so it's very important to begin with this command now to perform the pass the hash technique we will use the module secure lsa you can run it with log on passwords so you'll be able to see all the details of the accounts who logged into this computer and have their hashes stored if a domain admin logged into this computer you will be able to see this account here but for the sake of this demo i will use the hash that we compromised in a previous video called uh, attacking active directory database or hacking active directory database so we have this file here and we were able to extract this information admin so this is the information related to the domain administrator i'll go down here and you can see this is the hash so just copy that and go to mimikads again and run this command now secure lsa column column pth stands for pass the hash then you define the user the user here is domain admin then you define the domain that you want to attack in this case it's red python dot local and then you define you uh, you put the hash ntlm command supports not only ntlm it supports aes uh, 128 256 so just go here and paste this hash so before running this command i'll just invoke uh, command prompt open that 
minimize mimic ads who am i uh, i am the windows 8 administrator obviously so let's try to invoke some remote commands on the domain controller using the windows 8 administrator credentials i have uh, installed powershell tools i will invoke psexec on the ip of the domain controller uh, which is 61.155 and i'll try to invoke command prompt this will actually uh, tell me couldn't access the supply of network is no longer available uh, let me try to ping that yes actually it's pinging so actually i don't have access to this resource here so i'll go to mimicads again and uh, run this command i'll just press enter now and this will open a new window again who am i oops i'm still the windows 8 administrator let's try to do the same thing we did earlier so invoke the powershell tools psexec on the ip of the domain controller ta -ta -ta. boom i am in who am i now i am the red python domain admin so actually now i have command prompt access i can as well have powershell remote powershell access and sky is the limit